light. It always seems to begin with footsteps, whether it is the meandering footsteps of the infant crawling out into the dark world at hand, darker even still than the chasm of childbirth. This clown, she trembles aimlessly toward destination unknown. No amount of regalia or hair sparkle will light her path. No, for this she tramples forward, almost as if trampling towards the end of late-stage capitalism. There will be no death drops on stage tonight, not in this carnival of pain. White lines highlight Betsy Johnson bags, affordable at Ross Dress for Less for only $20 or more. Behold the clown. Her wig shimmers with that of an untamed mane, something that reduces her to tears. She falters, and yet she takes another gasp for air, a desperate gasp for air, as is a metaphor for all of us. What will she find in the recycling? Perhaps a can, perhaps a bag. But the ultimate answer is that the recycling is just as barren as the trash can of her soul. She meanders up in unsafe railment. Moving into the shrubbery, she vanishes, not unlike a homosexual at Central Park, though this one has a house with a door that opens. She is home now, but is home really sweet home? It is time for the remorse and the reverse metamorphosis. She is free, but behold, it is a companion. All one really wants in this world is the companionship of another being. To be able to look out in the world and say to oneself, Hello you, I see you as also I, who is also me. The cat pushes away, for it is the happiness of the clown that forms the hell of the cat. Life is pain, as Ayn Rand said, and this simple legacy sings ever ever onward.